hello guys this is Tabs. welcome to my youtube channel i want to show you in this video how you can migrate your wordpress website from one domain to another with a use of a simple plugin i know for some reasons people have reasons to change domain name change business name you may have been in a partnership and you have to go separate ways or for some reasons you cannot afford to continue to use the old name or for whatever reason it is that you are trying to change your domain name i'll show you in this video how you can get that done by yourself without needing to pay a dime to nobody to help you do anything even if you are as old as my grandmother if you follow this tutorial step by step you should be able to switch your wordpress website with just a few clicks here and there and without having to bother your head about changing uploading your database and changing your passwords and all of those things so so if you are excited about doing this together with me, so let's get started without wasting so much time. Just before I go straight into the tutorial, if you are open to making more money online, you're open to making more money with WordPress, not just designing a website for yourself alone, but if you're open to some kind of more ways of making money, then you should pay attention to this. This is my website, dabstutorial.com, and I showed in this video, as you can see on the screen, how I went from debt to millions with WordPress, and in this course here in this mini course here i showed exactly the businesses that i have done that brought me from being in debt broke uh to having millions with wordpress in the space of two three years and i it looked like my dream life had come true as you can see here i married my best year i work from home i spent time exploring heart i spent time with my family and this is all i do right now so if you are looking to learning more on how you can make money online this is free totally free and Trust me, no BS, nothing, nothing. So you can come here and just uh, register your name and your email address, then get free instant access. So let's get back to the tutorial straight off. Right on the screen here is a test website that we'll be using in this video. Uh, this is your testing.ml and I have a beautiful e-commerce website here. And I would love to change the domain name of this URL to i just want to change it to something entirely different if you are in that position what you need to do first is for you to register the new domain that you want to migrate your website to it's simple you want to change from domain a to domain b register the new domain and once you've registered the new domain the next thing for you to do is for you to install wordpress in that domain and it might sound so weird but that's exactly what i want you to do right now and i've been able to do something like that right now on the screen i have another uh, wordpress website here and this is tutorial.ml and you can see that I just installed wordpress on this and this is a newly installed wordpress so this is exactly what i want you to do for both domain so now you have your whole domain ready for you to migrate and you have a new domain ready for you to migrate your website entirely so if you have this two ready then we are good to go the next thing now for us to look into is the plugin that will do the magic for us so let's come to the back end of this wordpress website okay so let's come to plugins and let's come to add new you search for a plugin called wp vivid No space between the WP and Vivid. Just search for this plugin. This plugin is what we would use to do the magic. As you can see on the screen here, this plugin is already active on this WordPress website. So I've installed this plugin at some point. Maybe at some point I'm doing a tutorial, I've used this plugin. So it's there, it's active. Uh, that's first things first, install this plugin and activate it. And then if you can do that, then come again to where you want to transfer your website to and then we can i think i'll let me load this website on the https sorry guys okay fantastic so let's come to the dashboard here too as well and let's come to plugins let's come to add new I'm not sure I've installed anything like that on this because this is a newly installed uh, WordPress website. So let's search for WP Vivid. 
So I've got the plugin here, so I'll have to install it here. And then I'll activate as well. Bingo, we have WPVVid installed on both domains. So let's come back here. So what we'll be doing here is that since we have this 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 plugin active here, we'll scroll down and then we'll find WPVVid here. So let's just come to backup and restore. So basically, everything we want to do right now is to back up this website now into a zip file and then import it into a new WordPress website. And simple, that's everything you need to do. Your website has been migrated. You think that's simple? Let's go to it and let's see. If you're here, before you continue, please ensure that you, you tick this uh, option to back up both database and the files and that's the wordpress files make sure that this is ticked and also back it up to your local uh to your local to your local pc that's important too as well so let's hit the backup button the backup you didn't take so much time depending on how heavy your website is and also your network as well so in some seconds we should be able to have this backup so as you can see, our backup is rolling in and the, the database file is just 6.36 MB and the file size is 142 MB. This is quite huge though. Uh, it might have to be broken into two files entirely, but it's okay. Let's get to it. Okay, fantastic. We have a uh, backup done already. So if we scroll down here, we'll see our backup here. And this is today's day, December for 2020 and then you can download your backup very important so let's download this backup but it's okay since this is the only thing we have let's download this so as you can see we have our, our files this zip file downloading so we we'll just let it complete uh this may take a while depending on how heavy your file how heavy the file is and also your internet speed as well so let's give it time, let it download, and that's everything we need to do right now. Okay, super cool. We have a website backup ready. So super cool, we have this backup ready. Uh, what we have to do right now is to come here, and then we are already in WPVV backup plugin. So what we have to do is, instead of coming to backup here, we'll come to upload, and then we will have to drag and drop this file here and that's it so once we do that we'll click the upload button and then this begins to upload so again depending on how heavy the file is and your internet connection it may take a while so you have to just chill and watch it till it gets complete once it's 100 percent then we are good to go upload almost complete we are 99 already so let's give it time let's watch it finish and then we continue the tutorial okay 100 percent fantastic okay so we have this notification that says the upload has completed and let's click OK. And now you can see that we have our upload here already in the backups. Uh, what we have to do next is for us to restore this backup. So let's hit the restore button here. And then we'll see. Uh, you see anything that says here that do not close this page or switch to other pages when restoring task is running as it could trigger some unexpected error. So just stick to it. And then click the restore button and yes okay so the restore process is going on and you can see on the screen uh, we just have to keep watching it uh, in some few seconds we should be done restore complete successful in some few seconds and that's everything so we click ok and we should be direct should be logged out of wordpress 
uh, what we have to do right now is to sign in back with our old WordPress details. Uh, remember when you created this website, you created with the new details. You have to use the details of this old website to log in back into your WordPress. So let me, I'll have to change this because this definitely is not my detail now. So before we even log into the back end, let's see our website. Let's see. Let's go back uh, in a new tab. So let's see our website before we log into the back end. Voila. So we have our website ready, beautiful uh, looking, so prim and proper, everything beautiful, you know. So you can see. Uh, let's check uh, the shop page see that everything is okay nothing is broken fantastic so as you can see uh, let's come to our contact page everything intact okay guys so this is it so if you come back here make sure that you log in with your old details so that's it you can see that everything is okay everything is fine and pretty much everything you need to do and everything is okay but finally i want to show you exactly what you need to do as well so that you don't lose seo ranking in case you already have this website ranking for some good keywords so you don't want to lose those things so like right now i don't know what you want to do with the old domain maybe you want to discard it but whatever you want to do with it since you will not be using this domain anymore and i want to assume that you have access to this domain because if you don't have access to this domain anymore you are pretty going to lose all your domain authority or your domain rankings and all of that and you and this website will be having serious 404 in case you delete the entire wordpress so what you can do right now is that if you don't want to lose ranking you want to keep your seo intact you have to redirect the pages from this side to the other side it's just as simple so this landing url the home page you, you redirect it 301 or 401 just redirect me whether a temporary or a permanent redirection just redirect it to your new pages and that's everything you need to do so i just want to assume that you have one two three four five six just six pages on this website oh definitely is a product page and the same thing you do for all your products if for example it's an e-commerce store like this you would have to uh redirect all the product url one after the other to the new one of the new domain and you can use a plugin to do that as well so if you come to plugins and you come to add new so upon coming to your plugins you see that you have a plugin here that says 301 easy redirect manager and it's even the number one plugin i can see here so let me install this plugin and let me activate it as well okay so we have this plugin installed and we will see just beneath it here we see a configure redirect so you'd see that we have options for 301 redirect or 302 depending 301 means a temporary redirect you can just temporary or you can permanently redirect it if it's a permanent one then you can go for permanent if it's a 301 uh, temporary you can do that so what we will do right now is to come here so this is the product for example let's copy this and let's put it here as a hold and then we want to redirect it to uh a custom and then let's come to this product here let's come to product page as well and we have the same product url here so let's copy this let's paste this and then let's save so right now automatically anybody that clicks this product url definitely goes to the new so anywhere the link is for this old url it will definitely 301 redirect to the old one you can try this in a new page it would work and that's what you need to do for all the links all the pages 
all everything you're ranking for on search engines and then you can begin to redirect it to the new one and that way you don't get to lose any juice you don't get to lose any ranking on social media so you don't have any 404 error on your website and then google is okay with you and you're okay and your life continues so it's just pretty much easy to do and i believe you follow these steps I believe if you follow the steps I followed in this video, you should not have a problem. But in case you still do, please let me know in the comment section below. I would love to help you as much as possible as I can. And this is when I have to tell you that it just makes sense at this point for you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you are not subscribing, then you are not encouraging me. You are not helping me. If I'm helping you, please help me subscribe to this YouTube channel. It means so much to me and I appreciate you for that. And that's it for this video. Uh, until my next one. Bye for now.